Hey, what are you guys filming? Uh, a mayonnaise commercial? If you're in film, you've heard the joke about mayonnaise commercials, and that's how this started. My favorite brand of mayonnaise is Koopy, which I use religiously in my own home cooking, so I decided to make a spec piece for them. I wanted to create something fun that I could break down in BTS. I had the idea of creating a competitor brand of mayonnaise out of cake, so I reached out to Miko from Is It Cake 2 on Netflix to help. This was an incredibly fun project overall, let's go ahead and jump into the BTS. <laughs> <laughs> right now we have Woody, who's our mayo-loving elder friend, and then his grandson, Mace. Mace is a new human being that is falling in love with mayonnaise as well. Yay! And you're going to take a big bite of the sandwich, a giant bite, like you haven't eaten a sandwich in three years. Let's zoom out. Someone's gonna send me this thing, right? <laughs> All of the sandwiches needed to look perfect. So we brought on food stylist Aaron Barnhart to help. Aaron helped us nail the fake vomit we used in the spot as well. Well, we're doing a massive experiment right now for our fake vomit. Right now we're doing kind of our beige au natural option. And then after this, I'm going to do a blue option. Okay. Filmmaking, very serious business. Yeah, right now we're putting together a toilet seat rig. You just feed yourself and vomit it out. The commercial is about how polarizing mayonnaise is, so a lot of the shots in the piece are gonna be people using mayonnaise in really unconventional ways. You're gonna be at kind of like a three-quarter angle facing the window, so it's your back to camera. Okay. You'll grab the QP bottle uh -huh. and squeeze a little bit into your left hand. The last shot is gonna be the close-up that we rehearsed on the Zoom call where you're actually putting it in your hair. Oh. All right, cut. Got it. I feel like I'm filming Jackass or something. <laughs> <laughs> back here getting our chopped cheese background set up and we're gonna rehearse a few times with the actor just grabbing this real jar of mayonnaise because we only have two cakes which means two takes so after we do those that's all that we get. This is a big shot. Okay cut. So you, did it work? Or? We need a little suspense, you know? Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I wonder if the other one is thinner, because we looked at it under light and we're like, can we see through the oh. chocolate? If you... Oh yeah, that'll uh -huh. be fine. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it doesn't need to like explode. All right, that is something we can use. We 
did it. We got it, everybody. I think it looks really good. So the way you're gonna hold it is like on either side, like like a cartoon almost way of holding a sandwich. When you bite into it, huge bite, and we want stuff to squeeze out the side so we can see the mayonnaise, so really get messy. Like. Amazing, we got it, that's it. That's a wrap on day one. We made it happen and we're about to go into day two and crush the tabletop stuff. We used the Laowa Pro Blends to get really close to the action on a K2 slider which allowed for really dynamic camera movement. We wanted to capture the unusual application of mayonnaise as appetizingly as possible. Okay. Nice. Peanut butter mayo sandwich. The mayo just adds like a little salt to the peanut butter. It's way better than I expected. I'm eating half a sandwich. We had to get a shot of Koopy on a katsu sandwich for a more traditional application. Overall, we had a blast making this piece. Check out the full piece below, and please hit like and subscribe if you like this content.